Okay, so uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Nael Abu Ghazale, and on behalf of Rajiv Gupta and myself, the General Chairs for ASPLOS 2024, 29th edition of ASPLOS, uh, we'd like to welcome you to the opening session, welcome you to beautiful San Diego. Uh, hopefully you get to enjoy not only the amazing program, but uh, get a chance to see some of uh, the beautiful scenery and all of the attractions that San Diego has to offer. So um, putting together something like ASPLOS, as you can imagine, is a huge effort. And we were lucky to have an outstanding organizing committee that was involved in, in every aspect of the organization. Um, I'd like to first start by thanking the program chairs, uh, Dan Safrir and Madan Musuvathi. Uh, they will tell you uh, in detail in a few minutes about the heroic effort it took to put this program together along with all of the program committee members and area chairs and submission chairs and so on. Um, I'd also like to uh, thank the artifact evaluation chairs, Hairan Jian and Dong Li from UC Merced, uh, along with a committee of 51 volunteers that did the artifact evaluation for something like 100, close to 100 artifacts. Um, Workshop and tutorials were very active at uh, ASPLOS this year. We had 12 workshops and 10 tutorials with something like 350 attendees, uh, all organized by Zijia Zhao and Zhu Liu, um, uh, who did a wonderful job putting that program together. Uh, thanks also to Hudan Aghibi Joybari from Qualcomm, who was the uh, web chair. Uh, the publication chairs, uh, Sri Ram and Dong Yoon, uh, we ended up uh, using the free publication service. We got priced out from the professionals that usually help us. And with four volumes and 190 something papers, uh, this was really a, a big, big effort on their part. And we thank them very much for uh, doing it so well. Um, Jia Jia Lee and uh, Teja, her student, uh, where the, uh, took care of registrations. Um, I'll tell you in a second, we had a very large number of record for, uh, for ASPLOS and they took care of everything from the pre-registration to helping out with the registration desk and all of that. Um, a few more folks to thank. The Lightning Talks chair, Nader, is around somewhere. Uh, we will have the Lightning Talks sessions right after uh, the keynote this morning. Um, poster's chair was Hang Wei Tsang. Uh, we had the very successful, very lively poster sessions yesterday that he helped uh, put together and organize. Um, Khaled Khasaune, Ihsan Alwani, and uh, Krishna Nandivada were the publicity chairs taking care of different regions of the world. Uh, where their contacts are. Um, we were able to offer uh, not as many travel grants, but 70 travel grants. Uh, Daniel Wong and Elahe Sadruddini took care of, you know, getting the funding from NSF and other places for the, uh, for the travel uh, grants, uh, and then sort of filtering applications and selecting the, the students that received these travel grants. I think 70 students ended up uh, receiving some kind of financial assistance to attend ASPLOS. Um, I'd also like to thank the WACI chairs, uh, Sarah Achur and Mangpo Potilthana. I'm sorry, Mangpo, if I butchered your name. <laughs> uh, so the WACI uh, session and the debate session will be uh, this evening, uh, uh, right before the business uh, meeting. The debate chairs were Polami Das and uh, Joseph Diviati. Uh, so uh, please join me in thanking them all uh, if you see them around, please thank them. Um, and uh, I'd also like to thank all of the student volunteers. We have something like 15 students that are manning the registration desk and that are helping with the AV and streaming and so on. Um, you know, worked hard and have been instrumental to the to the smooth running of the of the program. So thank you, all of the student volunteers. So the, uh, the, the CARES Committee from SIG Art, SIG Micro, uh, basically they, uh, they try to promote uh, a safe environment for everybody that uh, attends and participates in, uh, you know, 
conferences in the in the architecture area, including ASBLAS. Uh, so uh, they want to kind of promote uh, openness and inclusiveness. They have a lot of information that's available on the conference website. Uh, uh, you can click on these uh, policies to raise awareness and hopefully preempt some of these situations from happening. Um, in case anybody feels uh, sort of uncomfortable or there, there are alleged violations, uh, CARES will be present today and tomorrow. They have a uh, desk outside uh, during the breaks. Uh, uh, so Tim will be there today. So you see the times uh, on the slide. Uh, and then Chan Lu will be there tomorrow during the breaks, uh, all three breaks in the conference uh, on the desk on that side, I believe. Okay, so ASPLOS uh, is really growing. Um, this is a record attendance that we have this year. Uh, we cleared 800 uh, unique attendees between the conference and the workshop compared to something like 450 last year. Uh, there are another uh, 30 remote attendees. Hello, remote folks. Um, the main conference is around 635, uh, of which a little bit more than half are students. Um, and then we had 365 attendees that attended workshops. Of course, some of the people that attend the workshops are the same attendees that attend the conference. So we have 190 attendees that just went to the workshops. So about half of the workshop attendees are people that stayed over for the for the conference as well. So what that means, unfortunately, is that there are some growing pains. So when we were looking for the hotel space and we found the hotel space and so on, we were planning a completely different conference than what we ended up having. So we had to go back to the hotel and ask for more space and so on. So please uh, excuse us if things get a little bit too cozy uh, sometimes. Uh, and then another byproduct is that we have to reconfigure the rooms and uh, please pay attention that the tracks are not in the same place every day. So we have, you know, so if you see your track, if you're an A and you see it's there this morning, it might be somewhere else tomorrow. So please pay attention to the website and WOVA have all of this information so you can keep track of, of where things are. Um, we have uh, hopefully a great excursion planned for tomorrow on the USS Midway, which is a aircraft carrier that actually saw a lot of action and then they parked it over here in San Diego and now it's a it's a museum. Uh, the buses start leaving at 515 from uh, the front of uh, the hotel. Um, weather is beautiful during the day in San Diego, but it does get chilly during the night. So please bring, bring a jacket or, you know, like a pullover or sweater or something to to stay warm. Uh, about 13 degrees centigrade, 55 Fahrenheit is what's uh, predicted for tomorrow. Um, and then there is a little bit of screening on the way in. So please backlight, don't bring laptops, don't bring things like that if uh, if you can avoid doing that. Yeah. Uh, there are, so we uh, we also kind of, uh, you know, bought some uh, simulator tours and some tours into the captain's quarters and things like that. I'm not sure if we can uh, get everybody through them, but please like look for them and and... Uh, and try to uh, enjoy them. Okay, so uh, I wanna end by thanking our sponsors. Uh, in particular, SigOps, uh, SigArch, and SigPlan provided a lot of the travel support for the students. Um, and then we had a number of, uh, of uh, uh, supporters from industry that generously supported uh, ASBLAS. So please, let's give them a round of applause. And, uh... And it's my pleasure now to hand off to, to Dan and Madan, who are the program chairs.